we have been working very hard on some wonderful new features for our FTCU users and one of my favorites has got to be the you design it um, you design it is a very revolutionary um, way of working with designs and uh, we are super excited to bring you something that's n never been done before in embroidery software and the you design it um, icon is located up at the top it looks like um, a bunch of circles um, that shape the form of kind of a man. When you click on it, it will open up the You Design It um, window. And in You Design It, uh, we do give the give you one collection for free. Um, it's just a collection that you can play around with, and it does happen to be our monsters. And our monsters are just really a lot of fun to work with. So the concept of You Design It is you have a core element which is what in this case is one of the bodies of the monsters and then you have other objects that like the hands and feet and stuff that you can add to it so I'm gonna select one of the monsters here when I click on it it's gonna bring up the monster in the preview window and you'll notice that right away the elements that are available um, show up on the right hand side so you see these little orange dots these are what we call control points um, and these uh, are magnets. Um, these are what these objects attach to. So um, just to show you really quick, you I'm going to scroll through these and just show you that you have a bunch of different options for this monster. And also in the elements right here, you can click the down arrow and you can see that you have the ability to just access the head, the left side of the head, the right side of the head, the left arms, the right arms, the left legs, and the right legs. So let's go ahead and focus on the arms first. So I'm going to go to arm left and you'll see that it brings up what my options are for this monster. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And now I'm going to go to arm right and I'm going to choose one that's similar to it. And then let's go to the drop down and let's do um, a head left. So you can see that I have different options for the left side of the head. Let's go ahead and just choose this one for instance. And let's go to head right. And let's ch choose the similar one for that side. And let's go ahead and go up top and let's do the left leg. So you can see I can scroll down and choose which one I want. Let's go ahead and choose that one. And let's go to the right leg and scroll down and find the one that's similar to it. And you see that it just kind of puts them on top of where the magnets are. And you'll notice that the last one that I've selected is green. Um, there are some things that you can do with this. So I can right mouse click and I can rotate it. I can reset the rotation if I've gone too far. Let's go ahead and rotate it. So I'm gonna click on that. And notice this really cool circle with a green point um, pops up and when I put my mouse over the the smaller green arrow you'll see that I get this little um, turning symbol so I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag it so I'm just dragging this foot a little bit let's say I like that I'm just gonna click off of it let's go ahead and do the same thing to this one I'm just gonna right click on it and go to rotate and let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit so if I right click again, you can also do things like nudging. So moving it a little bit um, into a better position if you'd like. Um, you can also change the sequence in which it sews out. So let's say that I want my legs to sew first. In the design, I can hit first and I can go ahead and right click on this one and do this one first as well. So just make sure that they stitch out first in the design. You also have a 3D preview button located in the center under the preview so that you can preview that in 3D and you can hide the magnets if you want and bring them back just so you can get a better view of it and when you have it how you want um, you just select OK and it's going to automatically bring it right into a design page in the software so that you can do even more to it you could add text you could do whatever you wanted um, it just helps you to get started and um, choose something that's unique and different. Um, I can see this being a lot of fun with letting uh, maybe a grandson or granddaughter um, kind of create their own monster because it's really really easy to do uh, to where then you can stitch it out for them. So 
I'm going to go back to the monsters and I'm going to just scroll through so you can kind of see the different monsters that you get and we'll go ahead and click on another one here and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this button down here called randomizer and this can be a lot of fun when I hit play what it's going to do is it's just going to scroll through and give me a bunch of different options so I could do a crazy monster if I want to um, it's just going to randomly select different pieces and throw them on the monster so it's just a lot of fun it's something that's simple and easy to do and you could create some crazy looking monster if you want and you can always stop it if you find something that you want and you can go back so you can go back um, if you kind of saw one that you liked and it's just kind of a fun little thing I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click on this monster and this is another thing that's kind of nice too if I have stuff attached to a body I can click on different bodies and it's automatically going to keep those elements that I've chosen so that also is um, a lot of fun too so just um, some different options that you do get and again I can just press OK and it will bring that in on a new page and I could go and I could do add something to it or just save it into a format for my machine. So the U Design it is a lot of fun. Um, there's going to be a lot of collections available. Um, you do get the monster collection um, with the update um, so that you can play around and explore it a little bit.